everyone, how are you doing today? I'm back with another video and in today's video we have an ASUS TOF Gaming A15 laptop. And in today's video I'm gonna go over how you can open it up and how you can remove or add your RAM and I made a really short video how you can check what's your man, maximum RAM capacity that you can have in here. I'll leave that link in the video description in case you want to check it. We have upgraded this one up to 32 gig, 16 and 16 gig without any issues. And you can do that at home. I'm gonna go over how you can do that. Uh, first thing first, you wanna power off the laptop. You wanna flip it upside down, just like this. And you wanna grab yourself an opening tool. I'm gonna to grab use an iFixit screwdriver set. Uh, from this set, we're gonna be using a Philips number one. I love this set. They are made out of S2 class steel. They're really durable and they last many years. If you get the pro set, they will include you with an opening tools and some tweezers. If you don't, get the basic set. And for the opening tools, I'll be using a guitar pick. And metallic guitar picks are really suitable to opening cases and covers. All right, with this on hand, we're gonna start removing. On the bottom of the laptop, you're gonna see a whole bunch of screws. There are three types of screws, two really long screws, and medium and short screws. First, let's go over the long screws. Those are the two in the mid back. So we're gonna remove these two and we're gonna keep it in one pile. These are the long screws. They're like about one millimeter longer than the rest. So keep these two on one pile. Now, we're gonna leave this screw on the bottom right if you're facing the fan toward the back. The bottom right, you're gonna leave it for the end because it has a little C-lock and the C-lock has a purpose on that one. So we're gonna remove the rest of the screws and keep the short one in one side. The short one should be the one in the middle, on the corner left side. And I believe the middle one is short or not. No, the middle one is wrong. So keep the short one in one and the rest, the mediums, on a different piles. Also, if you like my videos, if you find my videos helpful and helping you guys out, you can support the channel by clicking the like and subscribe. I greatly appreciate it. It helps and motivates me to make more videos, take requests, and answer your questions in the comment area. I appreciate that. All right, now that we removed all the screws, now we are left with this one right here. And the C-lock, what it does when you start on the screen, this one, it will not come out, but it will help you to separate the bottom cover and the top cover right there. Now you can see tiny little gap right there opening. That's where you want to take the guitar pick right there, and you want to wiggle it around. It should go which is right through there. I can do it with a camera in my face. So I'm going to stick it between the bottom and top cover right there. And I'm gonna just rotate and we're gonna peel the bottom cover, the bottom cover. So we're gonna do that all around in the front end. So do the front end, walk yourself to the corners and to the sides, all the way to the back corner. Once you did the front end, you can just pick it up and walk it around and it will release the back uh, hinges. All right, and once we remove it, we can see the RAMs right over here. This uh, laptop comes with a, what's called, two RAM stick, eight gig and eight gig. Some people say, oh, you should remove the battery before upgrading, it's absolutely not necessary, but if you do want to remove it, you can pull this plastic evenly back and the battery will get disconnected, but you don't need to in order to upgrade the RAM. All right, to remove the RAM, it's really simple. All you need to do is put your fingers on the side of the disc trigger and pull it away and the RAM will pop out in 45 degree angle. All you need to do is to grab it and pull it out in the same 45 degree angle, don't yank it upward. Okay, these things, they have a little heat spreader on top, you don't have to use it or anything, just leave it there. To remove the other one, again, pull it out, and there we have it. These are a DDR4 RAM, I'll leave link on a compatible RAMs in the video description, you can put a 16 gig and 16 gig, and it will work just fine. To insert the new RAM in here, you have to make sure the notch on the RAM matches the notch on the DIMM. So if I try to put it the other way around, let's say this way, you, it has to go in 45 degree inside the DIMM. You wanna see it is not going in because the notches are not matching. So I have to flip it over, bring it down in 45, all the way inside the DIMM, squeeze it in there, and then simply push it towards the motherboard, and you're gonna see these two triggers clicking, just like that. They open and they close. And same thing for the other one. Just bring it down in 45 degree towards the jack, all the way inside the jack, and then push it towards the motherboard. Sometimes, you see this one, it goes all the way inside with no issues, all the way in, and you don't have to force it. 
in 45 degree and goes in fine. But on this jack, as soon as I put it in, depending if I have, I'm, if I lower the angle, I need to push a little harder. But if I bring it higher a little bit and it goes really softly inside. And there we have it. Once you have the battery in there, all you need to do is connect the battery back in. Okay. And at this point, you can power on the laptop to see if it, um, give it a five to 10 seconds for it to do a RAM check and it's gonna boot up. Uh, so you don't have to put actually the cover in. Once you get the screen on the laptop, the boot screen, everything else, then you can come back down and put the bottom cover right on top. It squeeze them, it squeeze the sides, except this side right here. Make sure that you wanna hear those, the click. And you wanna tighten up this C-lock screw right over here. And again, remember the two longest screws, they were right at the back mid. You wanna put those ones back in place. And you wanna put the one short screw right in the corner on the left side, in the front. Okay, and the medium screws, they go all over the place, uh, wherever you see a screw hole. Again, I hope this video helped you guys out. And again, if you have any requests or questions, you know what to do, leave them in a the video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. I'm just gonna finish up putting up the bottom screws.